Right, James Beach, that was a hell of a fight. What are your immediate thoughts? It was one of them. I, I just, I was just a bit gutted. I couldn't get the win. I, I felt like going into the tenth round, it was even Stevens, and um, I tried to set the pace and and put, push, push it on Brad. And I think that's when um, I, I went wrong, really, in the fight. Do you think experience may have been a factor as well? You talk about those later rounds, Brad Foster. You know, he's been fighting at this level, British level, for a little while now. This was your first fight at that sort of level. Yeah, it, it, it's experience. It, it's all good experience for me, really. Like I say, I'm only 23. I'll definitely be back, at it, especially after a decent fight like that with Brad. I mean, he'll probably move on to better things now, and hopefully, I can just get another crack. It felt like one of those fights because it was it, it was enthralling. It felt like one where you thought, imagine if there was a crowd there and they'd really they'd be cheering every punch, they'd be going for it. What did you think? Yeah, I, I, I'm gutted. My crowd couldn't have been with me today. I'd have done over 500 tickets easily today as an old Bradford because we've both got big followings in the Midlands and they'd have sold out most venues, so I was just gutted for them, really. Having said that, though, you were the main event of the first British boxing show back out of this sort of pandemic so maybe the eyeballs are actually more than what it would have been yeah i am really thought about that to be fair at all i just was focused on the british and commonwealth title and like say after it now and just gutted it down win but i'll probably look back on it in a few years time and think yeah i headlined a bt sports show uh, and be proud of myself but at the minute i'm gutted as everyone would be the, the general feeling on social media is the scores may have been a tad wide and you put in a hell of a performance and gained a few fans tonight. What do you think? Yeah, the scores was definitely a bit wide. I think the first scorecard was about right. Um, three rounds. It was it was all down to the last three rounds, I think. And then once I started trying to force it, that's where it all went wrong for me, I think, personally. But I, I just, like I say, if, it, if the fans are impressed, that's, that's, that's another big tick for myself. So, How good is Brad Foster then? He is good, to be honest. He's a great kid. Um, well, I just think I've, I've took the fight on five weeks' notice. I think we're a bit more notice and time. I, I could have got to him, definitely. There seemed to be a lot of respect. I just saw you see you speaking to Brad Foster's team. A lot of respect there. Yeah, great respect between us. I've, there's never no animosity. I, even if they then wanted it, I, I wouldn't give them the satisfaction anyway, to be honest, and that sort of kid. So I, I just get on with it. I like to let my boxing do the talking. Well, it did a lot of talking tonight. Um, tell me about your weight then, because you're a two-weight Midlands area champion at super featherweight and featherweight. This was your chance at super bantamweight. How did it feel? Great, to be honest. I made, I made the weight comfortable. I mean, yesterday at the weigh-in, I had breakfast before before the weigh-in. I, I got up at half past eight and had a bit of weight to mix a little bit of water. And I tried to come in just under the 8 on 10 limit because I don't want to be coming in at eight eights and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I felt great for it, to be honest. So you're going to stay at Super Bantam? Yeah, as long as the fights are there. Super Bantam, featherweight, I mean, I made eight on 10 that comfortable if... Um, if Frank wants me back and there's any bantam whites that want to go and the money's out of me, bantam whites, I'd like say I want the 50 50 fights and I want to be in them big fights. Do you think you'll see Brad Foster again down the line at some point? Hopefully, like we say, well, I just want to win that British title. Uh, I, I think Brad will move on from the British onto bigger and better things and hopefully down the line I can have another crack and then if I win that, hopefully we can get a rematch for something a bit bigger. Well, James, look, congratulations. It, it was a great fight, really, really great performance from you, and you'd have won a lot of new fans tonight. Well done. Top man, thank you. I appreciate it.